Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the Co-Prophet of the End Times. On this program, I want to warn you not to listen to the false prophets who tell you that the seven years of tribulation will be triggered by some sort of covenant between the Antichrist and Israel. This is simply not true. If you wait for such a covenant before being prepared for the tribulation, you will be way too late. The trigger for the seven years of tribulation is World War III. In the Olivet Discourse, Jesus talks about the abomination of desolation and the confirmation of a covenant. He says, when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Now Daniel is the only Old Testament prophet spoken of by Jesus when he is talking about the end times. So if we want to understand what the abomination of desolation consists of, we need to look at the four times Daniel refers to this abomination in four different chapters. Daniel's first mention of the abomination of desolation comes in chapter number 8. And he magnified himself even to the prince of the host, and by him the daily sacrifice was taken away. Now the one who magnifies himself is the Antichrist. And the prince of the host, of course, is Jesus. And by him the daily sacrifice was taken away. Now this sacrifice cannot be ritual animal sacrifice as the false prophets claim. Because Jesus never required animal sacrifice. The only sacrifice he established was the symbolic sacrifice of the Lord's Supper. The abomination of desolation occurs when the Antichrist takes away the Lord's Supper from every Christian church throughout the world. And Daniel continues, how long concerning the daily sacrifice and the transgression of desolation? And the angel says, 2,300 evenings and mornings, then the sanctuary shall be cleansed. This 2,300 evenings and mornings symbolize the length of time of the reign of the Antichrist. This is not meant to be taken literally. This is a symbolic number. The two before the three symbolizes man before God. Notice that Daniel ends this passage by saying the sanctuary shall be cleansed. That occurs at the end of the seven years of tribulation. That's how we know that we are talking about the Antichrist in this passage. In chapter 9, verse 27, Daniel writes, And he, now this he is not the Antichrist, as the false prophets claim, because only God can confirm a covenant. And here he confirms the covenant through the prophet Elijah. Shall confirm the covenant with many. Now this is not the entire nation of Israel. This is the remnant that St. John talks about in the book of Revelation. For one week. Now this one week means at the beginning of the great tribulation. But that doesn't mean that this confirmation of the covenant triggers the great tribulation. And in the midst of the week... Now that's three and one half years later. So now Daniel is going to talk about another individual. He, that is now the Antichrist, shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. Now it is not unusual for Daniel to introduce an entirely new character by the pronoun he, without giving any antecedent whatsoever. And for the overspreading of abominations, he shall make it desolate. This is the abomination of desolation which Daniel is talking about. Even until the consummation and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. Notice this word consummation. Again, this, the end of this passage is the end of the seven years of great tribulation. Now in the next chapter, we will see that there is no such consummation at the end of the passage because Daniel will be writing about a precursor to the Antichrist, and that is Antiochus Epiphanes. In chapter 11, Daniel talks about a different abomination of desolation. An arm shall stand on his part. 
Now in this case, he is talking about Antiochus Epiphanes. And they shall pollute the sanctuary of strength, and shall take away the daily, now in this case he is talking about animal sacrifice, and shall place there the abomination that makes desolate. Now how do we know that this is Antiochus Epiphanes, and not the Antichrist whom Daniel is speaking about? Because following this verse, there are many prophecies which have already been fulfilled. And the real Antichrist does not occur until much later in the chapter. In verse number 45, Daniel writes, And he, and now he is talking about the Antichrist, shall plant the tabernacles of his palace between the seas and the mountain. Now this tabernacle is where the Antichrist will set up the abomination of desolation. In chapter number 12, Daniel returns to talking about the abomination of desolation of the end times. And from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, and the abomination that makes desolate set up, shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. This again is a symbolic number. It should not be taken literally. Notice that the integers add up to twelve. One plus two plus nine equals twelve. It should only be considered as an approximate length of time. And Daniel continues, Blessed is he that waits and comes to the thousand three hundred and thirty-five days. Now this is another symbolic number. Notice that the integers again add up to twelve. One plus three plus three plus five equals twelve. Now we know in this passage that Daniel is again talking about the Antichrist because this time frame of 1,290 days, again, is the length of time of the Antichrist's reign. This cannot be Antiochus Epiphanes, as we saw in the last passage. It's very important in the end times that we understand what the abomination of desolation is and what the confirming of the covenant refers to. We need to understand that the triggering of the seven years of great tribulation is not the confirming of a covenant but the outbreak of World War III. In conclusion, if you really want to know what our Lord himself is talking about when he refers to the abomination of desolation in Matthew 24, these are the four passages from Daniel which you must become acquainted with. And if you want more information, simply write to the address you see on your screen.